Welcome everyone to another Cota Conversation. Information from the Council on the Ageing, Victoria's leading organisation promoting opportunity and protecting the rights of older Australians. Cota Conversations. Hi everyone, I'm Peter Thomas and it's my very great pleasure to welcome back to the microphone Steve Wright. Steve is the Marketing and Communications Manager with Cota Victoria. Now, Steve, I might warn you that I have a Melbourne midwinter cold. Peter, what a coincidence. I have exactly the same thing. Oh, so we're not, we're not talking about bingo. this, but it's a really good, it's a really good segue <laughs> into our Older Not Alone campaign. COVID vaccinations, flu vaccinations. Yeah. We just have colds, I think. But, you know, it's always a good idea to make sure you're up to date on all that. Absolutely. So. Well, Steve, today you're going to share with us some of the news about an online exhibition, which I had a look at. And and I must say, it's fantastic. Should I have my laptop open now? I, I don't think you need it open now. It's the, the beauty about an online exhibition is that it's there whenever you want to access yeah. it. Um, so we didn't have you along uh, in in June for our World Elder Abuse Awareness Day uh, exhibition because you were off gallivanting around Australia. I you. was. I was in far north Queensland, <laughs> enjoying <laughs> the sunshine. Twenty eight degrees, beautiful. I would I would have went if I were you too. And that's the the beauty of, of this year's kind of um, campaign. World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is, is one day in, in the year, yeah. but um, our campaign this year is, is going for months. And it's uh, revolving around Warm Safe Home, which we've talked about before. It's building small scale model homes to have conversations about what a warm, safe home means to you. Ultimately, trying to raise awareness for the prevention and intervention into elder abuse. So if you didn't make it around the, the Melbourne Town Hall on the day, you can just look, open up your laptop, like you said, or your mobile phone uh, and go to the online exhibition of homes. So there's over 300 images, groups creating homes of the homes themselves. And it's just a really, really nice thing to go and and take a look at uh, to try to have some of those conversations with your own friends and family. Fantastic response to the uh, to the campaign. Tell me, uh, what is the website? How do people f- access this? It's really easy. The website is Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Dot org dot au. Um, or of course, you can go to the Coda Victoria website, codavic.org.au, and it'll take you there as well. Um, there's 300 photos right now, but the beauty of this thing is we sent out. 5,000 kits wow. to participating organizations all wow. throughout the state. And we're hoping to get more images. So, you know, if you go and look today, you might go and look next week and there's even more to go and, and take uh, a gander at. So it's it's really exciting, to be honest. Yeah, well, listen, I'm blown away by the variety of models that I had a look at, the creativity of people too, and the enthusiasm for this project. You must be very pleased, at Dakota. Absolutely. And it's there's such a range of, of homes as well. So I think generally it's, it's safe to say there's, a lot of um, cozy homes. So homes, mm. you know, where people have made like a little fireplace and have like a picture of a dog or something, which is absolutely perfect. There are people who've gone in the completely opposite direction. Uh, we had someone speaking at the event at the town hall saying that they kind of wanted to go almost militant. They oh. wanted to show their rage and their frustration that right. we have to kind of gather together and condemn elder abuse. or we have to worry about how we're... Um, addressing homelessness yeah. or people sleeping rough. Like it's, it, there's just such a diverse set of approaches to how yeah. to approach the Warm Safe Home campaign. Well, that's it's a really, valid it's thing really to do. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Give us some idea of where the entries came from. All across uh, the, the state. Mm. Um, so we've sent a lot of these kids out to LGAs, so local mm. government authorities. Yep. And they've kind of had events themselves. There's been events taking place at men's sheds. At um, just community groups of, of any sort, really. So whoever requested a kit got one. Uh, you can also head to the Elder Abuse Awareness Day website and just download a template um, to create a home yourself. So there's, you know, no end to the amount of people in different uh, groups that, that were taking part this year, which is really, really good to see. Well, Steve, congratulations to you and to everybody at Cota for the Warm Safe Home event. A, a great success. And once again, that website address if people want to see the exhibition. Elderabuseawarenessday.org.au Steve Wright, Marketing and Communications Manager with Cota Victoria. Thank you, Steve. See you next time. My pleasure. Thanks, Peter.